Are you planning a Californian wilderness trip? If you are, you're probably looking for things to do in Yosemite National Park. Yosemite was first protected in the late 1880s and today the park covers an astonishing 1,200 square miles. But it's more than just a geographic location with some of the most extravagant wilderness in America. It's also a place to explore the early history of America, from Native American culture and the country's logging, mining, and pioneering days right through to today's focus on art, environmental preservation, and education. So if you're looking for things to do in Yosemite National Park, keep watching. Wish on a Waterfall Did you know that one of Yosemite's oldest trails ever established leads to the top of the USA's tallest waterfall? Some of the best waterfalls to add to your list include Yosemite Falls, Sentinel Falls, Horsetail Fall, which glows orange at sunset, and Wapama Falls, great to avoid crowds. For the best waterfall experience, head to the park in the spring. The snow is melting, filling the rivers, and therefore the waterfalls, with enormous volumes of water. If you're traveling in the winter, keep an eye on the weather and road reports. Due to heavy snowfall, the roads to some of the waterfalls are closed in the colder months. Watch the abundant wildlife Wildlife watching is probably the reason most people come to Yosemite. There are hundreds of species of animals to check off your wildlife bingo card and numerous plant zones to walk through and observe. Some of our favorites include marmots and squirrels, black bears, bighorn sheep, and mule deer. There are also over 200 songbird species to listen out for. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. And stick around for a lot more about Yosemite. Plan around festival and activities. If you're nervous about exploring the vast Yosemite National Park on your own or want to hear what experts have to say about everything you're seeing, book a ranger-led tour. There's a wide range of options to take part in, from going camping to simple multi-hour or multi-day hikes. Time your vacation to coincide with a music festival or holiday activity and experience the park at its best. With things to do for kids and adults, you can relax knowing the itineraries already planned out for you. Walk among giants. Trees, that is. Of course, a lot of the reason people make a journey to Yosemite National Park is to walk among some of America's most enormous trees. The towering sequoias can be seen in Mariposa Grove, and with newly renovated boardwalks, the entire area is now very family-friendly. If you hate crowds or want a bit of solitary forest bathing, a few other groves are less popular, namely Tulum Grove and Merced Grove. Hike the trails Few tracks in the states compare with the majesty of Yosemite. If you're looking for leisurely walks with classic Yosemite views, try the Valley Loop Trail. If you want to stand in front of a mighty waterfall, head off on the Mist Trail. And if you're up for a real challenge, climb the Half Dome. You can even ride your horse on some trails. Catch your dinner Believe it or not, fishing is allowed in many rivers and lakes in Yosemite National Park. The only catch is you need to have a California fishing license if you're over 16 years old and can't use any bait. To ensure you don't break any rules or arrive back at camp with nothing for supper, we recommend hiring a guide or booking a fishing charter. Take in the view. Not everyone is willing or able to go hiking, but that doesn't mean you should have to miss out on incredible Yosemite views. There are numerous viewpoints located just off the road. The tunnel view is at the western entrance to Yosemite, just outside the east end of the Wawona Tunnel. And the Glacier Point view, probably the most spectacular in the entire park, is right at the end of Glacier Point Road. And be sure to add a drive up to Tenaya Lake, just off Tioga Road, to your bucket list too. Get on your bike! Okay, this is a bit sneaky, because mountain biking is prohibited within Yosemite National Park. But just outside the park are an endless maze of quality off-road bike trails to suit every skill level. For those looking for a more sedate ride, the Yosemite Valley boasts over 12 miles of paved bike paths with a 15-mile-an-hour speed limit, and road riding is also allowed. If you're new to biking and don't have your own, don't fret, there are plenty of places near the park to rent one. Go ice skating! Yosemite National Park often gets covered in a layer of fine, powdery white snow in the winter. It gets cold enough for snow sports, and what could be more wintry than ice skating? Probably the most popular ice skating rink in the park is at Curry Village. After all, you get to skate underneath the Half Dome. Admire art about nature. If the weather's bad, embrace it. After all, it gives you the chance to check out some Yosemite-themed art. Ansel Adams was a famous photographer and conservationist who captured images of natural America in black and white. The Ansel Adams Gallery, founded in 1902, houses some of his greatest works. Sleep Under the Stars whether you want to get on the trails and stay for a few nights or just want a spot to put up a tent and your feet, Yosemite has options. There are 13 campgrounds inside the park, some with full facilities, and others with more basic offerings, and they're all popular. 
booking a reservation is essential. Play in the snow. While the spring in Yosemite Valley is undeniably beautiful, there's also a lot to see and do in the winter too, especially if you're into snow sports. Badger Pass Ski Area is probably the most family-friendly snow sports spot, and it also happens to be the oldest skiing area in California. There you can ski, snowboard, or go snowshoeing. Just don't bring the sled because they're banned. If you're lucky that there's enough snowfall, take the little ones to the snow play area at Crane Flat Campground instead. Scale some rocks. Rock climbing has exploded in the states in recent years, and Yosemite is no exception. There are great climbs in the Merced River Canyon, sun-drenched challenges on the Tuolumne Meadows domes, and everything in between. If you're a seasoned climber, you should pick up a climbing guidebook and make your way to the rock face of your choice. For beginners, it might be best to book with an experienced guide or tour company. For those without a daring bone in their body, why not just watch the climbers from the safety of the trail? With a pair of binoculars, you'll be able to pinpoint the experts sleeping overnight in bivouacs high on the side of a cliff. Take a dip in a river or lake. Not many people think of coming to Yosemite just for swimming, but there are actually many swimmable spots. If you're there camping or hiking in the summer, why not take the opportunity to cool off in a lake or river? Almost any body of water is okay for swimming, though there are four or five spots that are prohibited. So check the National Park official website before you go. If you're nervous about putting your unprotected body into the water, why not try rafting or kayaking instead? Water sports are encouraged on Merced River, South Fork Merced River, and Tenaya Lake. Geek out on Yosemite history. Are you a fan of all things Wild Wild West? Then it's worth your time to dig deep into some of the many historical sites on offer in Yosemite. From museums to the historical theater, this park has something to tempt everyone. Kids and adults alike will love the Pioneer Yosemite History Center. Walk into a covered bridge and come out on the other side in a new world full of historically accurate buildings waiting to be explored. We also recommend the Yosemite Valley Visitor Center, the Yosemite Theater, and the nearby California State Mining and Mineral Museum. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss anything you know about? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.